Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nikki Newman will not be expecting this. Tuesday, November 21, 2023's Young and the Restless recap has Cole's unexpected arrival, which is purportedly at Nikki's request. Highlights of the Young and the Restless recap. In the same episode, Nikki fell off the wagon, and Claire informed Victor, Nick, and Victoria about her purported health issues. Jack refused Ashley's request to bring Tucker and Devon to Thanksgiving, and Diane supported him. At last, Kyle attempted to persuade Audra and Tucker that he was once again part of their scheme. Let's examine the events in more detail now. Nikki was called by Victoria at Newman Enterprises, she said in a message to her mother that she was in desperate need of guidance. When Claire arrived, she almost ran into Victoria. The restless young recapped the standouts. In the same episode, Nikki fell off the wagon, and Claire informed Victor, Nick, and Victoria about her purported health issues. Jack refused Ashley's request to bring Tucker and Devon to Thanksgiving, and Diane supported him. At last, Kyle attempted to persuade Audra and Tucker that he was once again part of their scheme. Let's examine the events in more detail now. Nikki was called by Victoria at Newman Enterprises. She said in a message to her mother that she was in desperate need of guidance. When Claire arrived, she almost ran into Victoria. Nikki had gotten wasted at the lake house. She struggled with herself to cut off the vodka, but she was unable. After Nikki completed the bottle, she fell asleep. The suddenly opened bathroom door startled her into wakefulness. Cole went downstairs and banged on the door. He came in, shouting for Nikki, and informing her that he had received her text regarding Victoria. Jack and Ashley got into a fight because Ashley wanted to bring Tucker and Devon over for drinks on Thanksgiving. When Jack stated that he didn't want Tucker there for their family custom, Diane agreed with him. Jack informed Ashley he would miss her and Ashley assured her brother she would meet Devon and Tucker at the club. Diane was disappointed to learn that their first Thanksgiving together would not be spent without any hostility. She hoped Ashley wouldn't squander the entire day. Ashley said she was surprised Diane seemed so genuine as they conversed. Tucker, Audra, and Kyla tried to talk Kyle back into the plan at the jazz club, he played them a tape of Ashley claiming she was going to manipulate Tucker to show them he was serious about getting back together. After they had a longer conversation, Kyle decided to cooperate with them, even though he didn't appreciate that Tucker intended to ruin the business. Audra walked Kyle out after he left, telling him she didn't trust him, but she liked that. Upon his return to the Abbott estate, Kyle informed his mother that he was back in with Audra and Tucker. Jack grumbled that Tucker was still bothering their family when he came in, but Kyle advised them to concentrate on being grateful. Tucker voice texted Devon while he was sitting alone at the club, asking if they could spend Thanksgiving together. When Audra came back, pointing out that it was just the two of them, Tucker grumbled about how unoriginal Thanksgiving had been all along. What why and our mess are they all in right now? Wednesday, November 22's Young and the Restless spoilers show that Michael will be back and that Gloria is, surprisingly, not in jail. However, that is merely one of the many shocks they have planned for Geno City. Overview of Young and the Restless spoilers. The sudden departure of Michael and his abandonment of Phyllis, Michelle Stafford, startled the viewers. We saw the urgency and obligation, though, when we learned that it was to save Gloria from yet another mess. Gloria is not in jail now that they are returned. The Baldwin Fisher family's problems are not, however, resolved by this. When they get together over the holidays to welcome back the prodigal mother and son team, Michael confesses as much to them all. The Hamilton Winters family is another family who will be experiencing an unusual reunion. Mamie declared that she would be taking her ball and heading home if her great-niece and great-nephews did not play well together. The shares she purchased in Chancellor Winters are what that ball is. Davin and Lily are made to listen and pull up with Nate. 
He certainly makes no credible attempt to assure them that he won't do it again, even after he has already betrayed them once. Tucker and Ashley come to an agreement. Yes, it is true. He has already cheated on her numerous times. Furthermore, he makes no mention of vowing to never do it again, in a way that at least somewhat makes sense. Ashley has consistently asserted that she will never again believe his falsehoods. Consequently, this may be another elaborate plot, or Tucker could be pursuing something else, or Tucker could be aware that Ashley is lying, or Ashley could be suffering from amnesia once more. Which option is least likely to irritate viewers? According to Wednesday, November 22's Young and the Rest of Spoilers, Michael Baldwin, who has gone through a difficult legal situation, would eventually take a flight from Singapore to return home with Gloria Bardwell. Gloria was fortunately exonerated by Michael of all charges, but they will both have some impressive details about what transpired. Until she is satisfied with Gloria and Michael's answer, Lauren Fenmore Baldwin will question them. Once at society, Michael, Gloria, and Lauren will celebrate Thanksgiving with Chloe Mitchell and Kevin Fisher. Gloria will be essentially congratulated on escaping jail by Abby Newman Abbott, who will host the entire gang. A deal will be reached between Trevor Street John's Tucker McCall and Ashley Abbott in the interim. Following the rather deceptive video made by Kyle Abbott, Tucker might believe Ashley is mostly assisting him in resolving his differences with David Hamilton Winters in order to keep Jabot safe. When it comes down to it, Ashley really seems to want to see Devon and Tucker get their act together. Whatever Tucker's motivations, if Ashley's scheme works, she may strike a deal to withdraw Jabot. Ashley should approach cautiously, as Tucker is unreliable in keeping his half of the agreement. Nate Hustings will have a few good reasons to be thankful this year, according to other Y and R spoilers. At Thanksgiving dinner, Nate appears to be the first to feel like a member of the family once more. Lily Winters, Crystal Carlyle, and Devon should also be receptive to Nate's return to Chancellor Winters. That might be sufficient for Devon and Lily to formally welcome Nate back to the organization, as Mamie Johnson most likely revealed all the information she knew about Tucker's plans off-screen. Nate feels excited about this new beginning, even though it will take some time and effort to regain people's confidence. Considering how hard Mamie has been working to promote family harmony, she should also be ecstatic. Keep an eye out for any impending roadblocks as the young and the rest of spoilers indicate that Nate and Devon may yet encounter some trouble in their relationship. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.